Screencastify allows you to easily record your projects and presentations. You'll first need the free Screencastify extension. You can get this from the Chrome Web Store or from Screencastify.com. Once installed, you'll see it in your extensions area of your browser or under this little puzzle piece. Before you start recording, open your project. I'll be using a Google Slides presentation for my sample, but this could be a Padlet, concept map, or anything that I want on my screen to be included in my presentation. Once your items are ready, click the Screencastify icon to open the extensions options. You may be prompted to sign into your Google account if you are not already. You can just record one tab of your computer or your desktop, which is everything that appears on your screen, and I definitely think desktop is easiest. You can also choose to only record your webcam if you don't have anything on your screen that you need to be recorded. If your mic and camera are not currently detected, choose Set up mic and camera. Make sure you click Allow when prompted. If you would like your webcam to be included so you can be seen during your presentation, make sure to toggle that on. Finally, choose more options to set your countdown timer, decide whether you want drawing tools, and system audio. System audio should be toggled on if your presentation has any music or a video or something that has sound that you want to be included in your presentation recording. When you are all ready, click record. Click on the image of your screen and then share. I have two screens, so I see two thumbnails. You'll probably only have one screen to choose from, but you still need to click on it and then share. Before you start presenting, take the time to hide this pop-up message so it is not distracting during your presentation. Now switch over to your project and start presenting. Navigate through your presentation just like you would as if you were presenting to your class. Click play to share video or audio segments as needed. When you're done presenting, Select the Screencastify icon from your Chrome extensions and choose Stop. You'll get a video preview of your presentation. The audio is muted, so make sure to unmute it to verify that you can be heard clearly. These scissors let you trim off the beginning and end of your video. So I can drag the scissors to where I actually start talking in my presentation and trim off that part where I was getting set up. And I can do the same to clean up the end of my video also. When everything looks good, choose Get Shareable Link. Share your project. Anyone with the link can view it and copy that link. And I'm going to select more options to verify that this is properly shared. Anyone with the link can view. Once I've copied my link, I just need to paste that into Schoology, Google Classroom, a Google Form, or wherever your teacher has directed you to go to turn your project in. Screencastify also saves your video to your Google Drive. You can open your drive to view the video, share it, or get its link for submitting to your teacher also.